Hi everybody, I'm Henry Lee of BlueHeronArts.com. Uh, I'm now working on a commission with a, a name shop for a YouTube viewer living in Switzerland. Uh, his name is uh, Richard. Uh, his uh, Chinese name is uh, um, Yongguang Fangzhen uh, in Chinese. And uh, uh, I will explain the name later, but uh, now um, there's something uh, very different than what I did before. Uh, he wants the first name and last name on two separate stones. Um, this is a very common, um, so I would like to sh uh, show you what I have here. Um, in this stone, I have my last name and first name, two seals carved on the same stone. And another example is uh, just like uh, uh, Mr. Jane is uh, asking uh, the two separate stones that I come and uh, I use very often on my YouTube uh, demos you have seen. Um, so let's take a look at this one first. By the way, I have now a professional uh, tool called a seal pad. It's made of uh, kind of a rubber, uh, very suitable for uh, put underneath the paper, so you don't need to worry about uh, uh, too firm or too soft. And uh, also I have this tour, uh, it says, uh, okay, the uh, it's not a measure, it's a kind of ruler or a positioning tour. Uh, it's a square, you know, half square. This is the the front, and this is the back. So you put it on the on the paper like this, and to position it uh, to make sure it align with the edge of the painting or your know, artwork. Um, and another advantage of uh, this tour is to allow you to make uh, two times, um, to print uh, two times on the same position so you can enhance it you know, to avoid granny look. Especially when the ink is dry like this one, you might need that. Let me take, uh, show you how it works. So first time make sure the uh, ruler is against the stone so then lift it see it might be not dark enough uh, so you can restamp it so see this corner is something missing so I just uh, do some more ink see if I can match that Make another. See, I can repeat it to make the stem look uh, more full. Uh, see, if you want to try, you can get it uh, from our website. Um, on this seal, I have uh, my last name on the top, together with my um, ancestor hometown. It's very common in Chinese, it says uh, the Shanyin Li clan. Shanyin is the original place where the clan comes from. And uh, this is my given name, Xiao Hui, in Chinese, uh, Chinese name. So uh, you can also just have one character instead of uh, uh, the clan, uh, you know, to enhance the, the, first, the last name. Uh, so this one, I did use this again. The first one is my family name, last name. That's okay. And uh, the second one 
is my first name. In Chinese comes uh, after the, fir the last name. So you can kind of align it. So this this uh, tool is very useful when you have two stems. Okay. Let's see if it's enough. Yeah, it's good. So that works out pretty well. You can see the alignment is uh, perfect. So you don't have to. Um, put the two seals on the same stone. You can have two separate stones and then use this tool to um, align it. You can adjust the distance uh, between the, the two seals according to your needs. So that's very flexible to carve on, on two stones instead of one. Um, so now I'm going to do the the design. Um, here's what uh, I got uh, um, for this uh, two seal uh, name name chops. Two, a set of uh, name chops. The first one is the family name Jen, and the la uh, the second one is uh, Yong. This is eternal Guang. Light, eternal night. Um, I use uh, the positive one on the family name. Uh, the negative one, uh, in style on the uh, given name. So it's a yang and in balance. Same as uh, the same as my uh, stems. You see the yang on top, in. Uh, like this. This cut could also be reversed, depends on your uh, design needs. So uh, I'm going to do the first, uh, the last uh, name or the family name first. So this is the stone that exactly matches the uh, size and the, uh, uh, the design, and I use the transfer. Uh, liquid called acetone to um, make an imprint on the stone already. So I'm ready to go. This is the same kind of mirror image on the, in the background so you can see what I'm doing. Um, I try to make it a very old look, um, so it doesn't look like the, you know, the mechanic font, uh, the computer generated uh, seals. This is a Qingtian stone, it's the one that will uh, make a noise or the music. Try to follow the design exactly, but sometimes you have to take uh, risks or chances. 
because uh, this is a uh, hand carved and uh, very uh, uncontrollable material, the stone. It chips all the time. This gives uh, the art of stone uh, engraving, of seal, uh, stone seal engraving, very different uh, uh, level of uh, uh, aesthetics than the rubber stain. More kind of natural uh, antiquity look and feel. That's what we try to achieve. So notice the corner is very important to make it uh, like cast on a bronze instead of uh, you know the the straight corners. So you want to keep in mind this was uh, like a the bronze in the original Han Dynasty seal. Time uh, they use the seal in, the, in actual uh, life, it, most commonly in the Han, to about uh, 2000 years ago. And then the stone seal is uh, utilized to make seal it's late in the, in the Ming Dynasty, about uh, for, uh, the 14th or 13th uh, century. Started in the Song, but uh, getting popular in the Ming and the Qing dynasties. It's a revitalization of uh, the antiquity, you might call it, like the Renaissance. People like um, to mimic the ancient uh, sculptures, in this case, the ancient seals of bronzeware, using pottery or stone. To follow the the strokes, I just go easy, then do the uh, com the complicated part. This is a place originally or the state in the warring state time. It became a family name. It doesn't really have much meaning. So this character is uh, meaning city or state. This this radical I'm doing. Margin that's on purpose. Corner are all kind of eroded uh, bronze, rusted bronze. No sharp corners. 
if you want to make it look old. Some random you know, bro bro broken part is okay.
Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to make a first impress in imprint. It's pretty close. Uh, that I wanted to. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the mirror image. It's not compare. It's not this one. Okay, now you can see the design and the result. Um, I just need uh, some uh, fine twin to complete this one. for another one. It's much even. So in the beginning, you kind of uh, cough uh, in uh, thicker than you expected, then you give yourself room for adjustment. I think this one is done, and uh, we're going to continue with the other one. <coughs> 